Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about masking images in Adobe Photoshop and later I'll demonstrate just how to create a layer mask. So what is masking? Well it's a really useful tool in Photoshop to remove visual information from an image but without actually destroying or deleting data from the image. Let me show you an example. As you can see here, we have a picture of a dog, and in this instance, he is set on a transparent background. And we know this because we can see the grey and white boxes in the foreground. This is an indication in Photoshop that it is indeed a transparent background. And if we look in the Layers panel over here to the right, we can see there is no visible layer below it. So let's look closely at the dog layer. And we can see we have an opacity mask applied. And we know this because we can see the opacity mask thumbnail icon here to the right. I'll explain a little bit more about this in depth later, but first let's pay attention to the opacity mask. If I right click on the opacity mask thumbnail, we will see that we can disable the layer mask. And when I do that, we can now see the full original image before the mask was applied. So now we can see we have the, the whole image with the background behind the dog. And if I come back to my dog layer, I can right click again and simply enable the layer mask. And we are back to our transparent background. Okay, so if we look in the layers panel, we can see we have a yellow background layer just underneath our mask layer. So if I toggle the visibility of that, we can see that now the dog is sitting on a yellow background. So whatever we place or add underneath the, the dog layer, we will see the dog sitting on top of it. So why use a mask? Well, firstly, the main reason is so you don't delete any information that you might want to include later. Secondly, this really helps when you start to import images into other programs like Adobe Illustrator or InDesign and you want to have the transparent background. So, how do we create such a mask? Well, allow me to demonstrate. And for this exercise, I'm going to use a new image and I want to simply mask out the background so I'm left with just the flower head here. Now, before I begin, I just want to quickly mention that what you might find when you open an image like a JPEG or something that isn't a PSD file and hasn't had any work done to it prior, you will find that it'll the image will open up and in the layers panel you will it'll be set to background and you'll have this lock there. Now this isn't suitable and ideal for us to create our mask because we can't see or we will not be able to get a transparent background. So what we need to do first is just right click on the image or the layer rather and just click on layer from background and just click OK and that will quickly change this layer and prepare it. So now if I toggle the visibility we can see the transparent background and we are ready to proceed to draw our path and mask the image. So let's begin. I'm going to come over to my menu and I'm going to grab the pen tool. And I'm just going to start by drawing a path around the flower head. So I'm just going to start to click. Now for this example, I'm just going to do a really rough selection. Normally I would spend a lot more time um, mapping out this line and get a really nice detailed edge. But for the sake of this exercise, I'm just going to quickly draw around the flower head and what I'm doing here is I'm just clicking and dragging and as I click and drag we will add curves to the line so it's not a rigid selection. Just quickly come up and do this. Select around there and once I'm happy with my path and I've still got the pen tool here I'm going to right click and make selection. Just click OK there. And we can see that the path we just created has been converted into a selection. Very convenient. So now we want to mask this area. So if I come up to layer and scroll down to layer mask, we are going to select reveal selection. Let's click that. And as if by magic, the background has disappeared. Now we have the mask and the foreground is transparent. 
Excellent. So let's take a closer look at the Layers panel. And like earlier, we now have the Mask thumbnail to the right. And as you can see, the thumbnail is a black and white image. This is because whatever is white is revealed and whatever is black is hidden. So keeping that in mind, if I right click on the layer and disable the layer mask, we can now see the full image. And let's bring this back again by enabling the layer mask. Now, what if I decided I wanted to bring some of the leaves in from around the flower? For example, I want to bring in these leaves here and here. Now, this is where the mask comes into its own and we can see the real benefit. If we had deleted the information around the outside, we wouldn't be able to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another selection like we did before. So using my pen tool, I'm going to click on the image, make sure you have the image, the left thumbnail selected the image so we can make a selection. And I'm just going to make a quick selection around the leaves here. And again, like earlier, I'm going to right click and make selection. OK, let's come back to the Layers uh, panel. I'm going to right click and enable Layer Mask. So now we have this selection. And make sure that we select the, the thumbnail, the mask thumbnail, because what we're about to do is pull up our brush tool. We're going to get the brush. And if you remember earlier on, whatever is white is revealed and whatever is black is hidden. So we need to make sure we have the white color on our brush. And I'm going to draw draw in the selection there and we can see now that we're bringing back some information from the image below we are editing the opacity mask layer I'm going to press command D to deselect that and you can see that we are bringing back some of the information here now we can also do this freehand we made the selection just then but I can also just click and draw on my on my mask layer here to, to bring some of that back. It's going to press Command Z to undo that. So let's say I wanted to manually bring in, bring in this leaf here. So I'm just going to draw in here what I think is the leaf underneath. Let's toggle my brush size here. And let's bring that in. But now you're thinking, oh, there's an awful lot of black space around the outside. Well, this is quite interesting too, because what we're going to do this time is we're going to change the color of the brush to black, and we're going to change the brush to a feathered edge, and I'm just going to bring back or, or add some black to the opacity mask. So I'm going to hide some of the data instead of revealing it. So let's do that. I'm using this as an example because now we've got a feathered edge. If I press Command Shift N on the keyboard and create a new layer, if I come over to my menu and grab the paint bucket, let's change the color here to a maybe a, a blue here and just click that. If I come to my layers panel and click and drag this layer underneath the flower, you can see now that the you have a feathered edge and a straight edge around the flower. So we can just, we can touch this up if we wish. So let's come back to our opacity thumbnail and I'm going to grab the, the brush here. I'm just going to delete a bit of this information and just tidy up the image. And I'm sure you, you by now you get the idea. So that's how you use masks in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you were not familiar with masking before, then I hope this helps. So have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.